Hello and welcome back to The Average. I'm Steph, I'm The Average Artist and uh, yeah, that's that's my intro. Today I decided I wanted to create some custom Nikes. These are the Air Force ones and they're super cool. I was browsing Depop. If you don't know what Depop is, it's kind of like a second-hand s- store where people sell each other their secondhand items that they don't want to throw away so I got these for relatively cheap in my local area um, they're a little bit scuffed and bruised so I decided to just clean them up a little bit as best I could um, they weren't too bad but they were a little bit dirty so I just wanted to wipe down the surface of them and uh, really make them bling before I uh, decided to draw all over them I just used some like vanish white oxy stuff I don't really know if it actually had any effect but it certainly wiped away a little bit of dirt and uh, then I was ready to go with the process I did a really super quick sketch in my sketchbook of what I wanted to do and then the colors so these Air Force ones are for my niece because they were a size 4 I thought that she would really like them so I kind of designed them with that in mind she really likes daisies and things like that she's 17 and uh, yeah I just think this this color scheme that I picked was really fun and like kind of cool for a teenager and yeah so she likes daisies and stuff so I decided on the back part I was gonna make like a light orange and then I was gonna draw a pattern of daisies and see how it turned out then I went a little bit crazy with the rest of the colour scheme because you know me, I like my pinks and my blues and my purples so I decided to do like this light blue um, area of the shoe and then I was going to do pink around the front as I <laughs> practised in my book but then I also decided that I was going to go and uh, draw on top of the Nike tick I was trying to keep that white or I was planning to keep that white because I thought that would look coolest but then I thought it would be really cool to have like a gradient of the pink to blue on the tick and then also like as the pink goes round the shoe it would turn and flip colours so on this side it's going to be pink and then on the other side it's going to be blue and then I'll do like a gradient around the front where it was going to look really nice and just change colour and I thought actually like I was a bit scared because I thought mm, how am I going to blend these Posca pens they're a little bit difficult to blend and uh, I did have trouble doing that but then I just sort of used my finger to help blend them together and it really worked I just ended up building up the colours repeatedly and putting it down I did end up doing a lot of different layers on these shoes of these colours because I wanted them to look like they had kind of been spray painted on rather than blotchy as you can see right now they kind of look the colours look a little bit blotchy and there is like a kind of cool quirky style to that but it's not what I was looking for so I end up going over the pink and the blue and the tick a few times so I started out drawing the daisies I wasn't sure how to do them and what, how to approach them but I think that this like big Posca really helped me out because it has like a flat chisel tip. So I just used that as my basis for the petals and then I just went for it. And I think they turned out pretty cool in the end. At first I was really unsure of like how it was going to turn out because I was thinking that I've ruined them and they don't look good at all. And I was having that moment of like deep regret of buying these shoes and then just ruining them. But actually they turned out pretty cool and I'm glad that I just, you know, kept going I always find there's a stage in art when you just get to a midpoint and you're like what am I doing this is awful and then if you just keep pushing yourself a little bit more beyond that point sometimes things just work out for the best so I'm glad that I kept going and didn't just give up and then like wash these paints off the shoe I didn't know what I was going to do with them if I gave up but yeah um I was going to go over them with another color or something but I think in the end they look really cool and I think they really suit my niece's style, especially the flowers, the daisies and they just work, you'll see. So I tried it out to um, do the gradient around the front and you can see it's working quite nicely already but like I said I do go over and over again with layers of these Posca's pens because they look a little bit blotchy. So. I'm doing like one layer and then I'm waiting for that to dry a bit and doing another so I keep going from different sides of the shoe to keep working on it where places are dry and just working my way around them. I would say that this was a really 
scary project for me to do because I think like even though I didn't pay a lot for these Air Force ones I think Air Force ones are generally kind of a higher end expensive item so I was a bit nervous to customize them especially you know the critiques you kind of get on YouTube sometimes and people are like why have you ruined these and I think that a lot of that pressure was kind of getting to me a little bit but I tried to ignore it and just enjoy the process and I really did enjoy making these shoes I think I might do them again well, not this style, I think I might customise shoes again because I really enjoyed doing it and yeah, it was just fun. Once I got past that pressure, I was like, you know what, I'm digging this and I'm digging the gradients, I'm just having fun with it and it was like being a shoe designer, <laughs> going a bit far there, but it was, it was really fun. So yeah, I'm just working on the, the gradients here and I realised that I was not doing a good job, um, this being my first time of customising shoes. I realised I was going over bits of the shoe where I don't want paint to be, so I ended up using a lot of washing tape to kind of nail down that like clean line that I wanted to get around the bottom of the shoe. I did this like halfway through and I was like, some people are going to get triggered by this, I'm triggering myself and I'm sorry, I did not think about it until like halfway through and then I was like oh maybe I should use some washi tape on this you know washi tape the thing that artists use all the time and you tend to use a lot maybe maybe I should use this to protect some parts of the shoe and yeah it worked I am glad I did this because you'll see at the end when we have our peel off session that it was really really handy and it looks nice so I'm trying to replicate the daisies a little bit on each side of the shoe on each shoe as well so in the end there's four sides uh, I don't know why I sounded confused by that I know there's four sides to a shoe of these daisies but I wanted the patterns to be slightly different but you could tell that they were the same family I also tried to add them onto the pink bit of the shoe and then I realized that I didn't like that at all and I just painted over it again with the pink but yeah the daisies at first they looked super flat and I wasn't liking them so I was trying to add a bit of depth with like different colours and try to create something. In the end I decided to do an outline of black. I know this might have been a risky decision and I felt it at the time but in the end I think it looks better because it really defines them and you know you're not always going to be so close up to the shoe looking at it so I think it helps to have these black lines around the daisies to just really define them and you can see them from further, further away whereas before it was kind of just like meh and I'm really glad that I did this because I think it looks better let me know what you think I think it looks better with them outlined even though you know it kind of takes away the softness of it but you know I think overall definition is key and I go in with different colors and things you'll see in a minute it was difficult to draw on the shoe with like a fine line because the uh, tips of the Molotow pens kept getting like caught and then they might, they did flicker a little bit of ink every now and again and I had that mini moment of panic and uh, yeah so I, I quickly learned to try and control that. Here you can see me trying to resolve that pink area but no it just didn't work I just thought oh that would be a bit overkill to have a pattern there and then this gradient and then a color and then more patterns so I wanted to keep it hard well it's not simple but more simple than that so I decided to just paint over the the second half of the daisies and go ahead and just have the patterns at the back and I think they look really quirky um like the kind of cartoony style and then with the gradients at the front they kind of balance it out so it's kind of quirky but also cool and I think it really suits like a teenager's vibe especially um my niece's vibe I think she I did send them to her at the end of this and she said they were sick so uh pretty proud of that reaction <laughs> yeah so I just continued drawing over these and just you know bringing together all the little details painting over all the splotchy areas then I decided to add a little definition to some of the areas of the shoe so some of the like stitching I decided to add a small gradient so it would just come together and then I wanted to obviously replicate that on each side of the shoe and so we're going to do it all over again and this is where it gets tricky because it's like 
I want it to match that side but then also the other shoe and it was like I hope that I can do this I hope I can recreate what I've already done and make it look as well as much as possible as that and as nice as I like it so as nice as I like it that's not a sentence doesn't matter you're watching anyway I also decided for the first time ever to do a TikTok on this as I was creating this um, it was quite fun i i've not really explored well i like watching tiktok but i've not really explored creating on there so much so if you want to watch a minute's worth of this footage edit it down after you've watched this 15 minute one <laughs> then maybe you might enjoy that um i'll put my tiktok down in the description i'm not really expecting anything from that because i feel like an old boomer on that site but i do find it very funny i'm like always on it anyway totally sidebar yes replicating what I've already done but inverted so on the other side it was like purple to blue and this side it's blue to purple so it's just inverting the colors and then I was also hoping that that would look as cool and I think it relatively does relatively does yeah um I really like this style I'm really glad I kind of just went for it as well a little bit because I did do some initial sketches well it's a bit of a lie I did one sketch of a shoe in my sketchbook and then a small color scheme of this pink to blue but then I didn't know that I was going to do this inverted color around it or the gradients or anything like that so I'm glad that it all came together as I was doing it I think I just really enjoyed it and uh had fun with it. Once I was doing that, it really improved the overall look of the shoe. Here I'm like just doing that gradient as I mentioned on the stitching, so it looks a little bit more cohesive and it looks a little bit neater, I think, to have a little bit of that colour um, working together along the stitching. So I'm just trying to make it like blend in so it looks pretty much like it's a gradient of the stitching and I think it looks super cool it kind of pops and uh, just adds a little tiny bit of depth to the shoe and again we are drawing the daisies I just did like random design patterns and I'm not totally I think the daisies are probably like the least thing I'm keen on until I add the black line and then it just I don't know why it just kind of comes together as a cohesive design and then I also yeah, just try to make sure that they were all looking similar because <laughs> I started to notice that maybe some of the daisies were looking a bit looser as I got more relaxed than the first ones that I started. But generally they look good together so I'm really, really proud of this um, shoe, shoes and um, I'm glad that I did them, it's been really fun. So I added a few yellow dots to maybe signify some like... Um, petals or uh what's the word uh, pollen um like f flying from the daisies maybe and i think that brings it that final little touch that added detail just makes it work all together and i'm really glad that i added that and i just think it looks really cute and really quite sweet i added a little bit of blue pencil i'm not sure how much that would last for def definition on the petals and then that's it i'm ready to peel off the tape and i'm so glad that the tape worked so well because i really thought it wasn't going to i thought i would take that tape off there would be loads of paint underneath and a mess but it worked nicely there are little like little tiny areas of um where it seeped through like a tiny bit but i went in with an um some alcohol like 100 percent alcohol and, um, and a cotton bud and just cleaned up those areas and then after that i just added the pink to the air on the sides because i thought it was a really nice final touch and that's pretty much it
Okay, that is it. These are my custom Air Force One Nikes and I'm really pleased with how they turned out. I really like how they look and I'm really happy, yeah, with the result. I think I said that three times in a different way, but I really like the air on the side and I think my niece is really gonna like these because it's kind of her style and uh, I'm pretty pleased. I hope that you guys like them. Let me know down in the comments. I know probably me not doing the tape on the shoe at the beginning was probably triggering for some people, but if you made it to this point, thanks so much for watching, guys. And uh, please like and subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. I would just like to thank my patrons. They are Lemon, Luzernia, Sean, Jordan, Luke, Elira, Ace Tubulum, Jacqueline, Heidi, Suki, Steph. Eva, Lucille, Erica, Megaya, Tim and Charlotte, and Alex. Thank you guys so much for your support. It means the world to me. Um, you're awesome. Thanks.